In our third lesson of lipid metabolism from Chapter 17, we want to briefly summarize lipid metabolism before we consider the details. Let's first put lipid metabolism in the context, the larger context, of the metabolism of the cell. We know that triacylglycerols contain fatty acids that are attached to a glycerol backbone, indicated at the top of our slide. So these are part of our biopolymers. These biopolymers are broken down to the monomeric form of the fatty acids. These fatty acids are then broken down to two and three carbon intermediates, and these intermediates feed into the citric acid cycle that we considered in an earlier lesson in chapter 14. Let's now summarize the different lipid pathways that we'll consider in this chapter, and that's part of our illustration. First of all, we'll consider fatty acid catabolism, also referred to as beta oxidation, and that's indicated by the number 1. So the fatty acid is broken down through fatty acid catabolism to acetyl-CoA. As the opposite of that process, we have fatty acid synthesis, highlighted by number 2. We start with acetyl-CoA and we form a fatty acid chain. Third, we have ketogenesis, which starts with acetyl-CoA and converts those to ketone bodies. In pathway 4, we start with acetyl-CoA to generate cholesterol. And lastly, number 5, we start with fatty acids in order to synthesize other lipids. We'll consider each of these in turn, but what we can see is that all of these pathways converge at acetyl-CoA, a very key intermediate. This is an excellent illustration to coordinate all of the different pathways of lipid metabolism that we'll consider in this chapter. So it's a nice way of organizing your thoughts, and you may want to return to this illustration as we look at more of the details. In our next video lesson, we want to see how fatty acids are activated for oxidation and how they are transported into the mitochondrion.